Okay. We're gonna try that one right there, cutfish tart. So I'll just give you a little bit of a brief talk about it. Uh, so actually this is making a lot of uh, news because it's so... Uh, 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 anyways, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get that. Let's give you a little context, we're in Tampa Village. There's Joker's Barbershop, who does Mikadores, which, which is where this is at. There's a gallery. Oh, this is what happened. Lily, Lily's, Lily has a gallery that was right here. She's an artist from Colwan, and now that's empty. Huh. Anyways, I'll give you a little bit of other context around here as well, as I usually do with most of the YouTube videos. Usually they're walking ones. But every once in a while I like to do a, um, a uh, food one. So this is going to be the food one right here. We're going to get that right there. Codfish tart. At Mako Yao. Hey, check it out Macau 2023. Check out some more streets. Okay. So let's try it out and see what it looks like. Let's see. Can I get this? Can I try this one? That's That catfish chart? Do you have those? Uh, Today? Yeah, we're gonna have it in 10 minutes. Oh, in 10 minutes, okay. 10 15 minutes. Okay. Do you, make, um, do you make them for the whole day? Usually? Uh, no, we do two times a day. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've been hearing about them, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they're like. Are you from part of the Portuguese community or Macanese? I'm Portuguese. That sounds good. I'll come back in 10 minutes. Yeah, sure. See you. Actually. So that's the one we're going to get right there. Back okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to come back in 10 minutes. And that'll all be ready and, uh, and then we'll try one out. Mako Yao. So let's give a little context to where this is at. So we're going to try one in a minute. And um, basically this is in type of village. Not too far from from Joker. Have you had these uh, bakayao yet? Have you tried that one yet? Oh yeah, yeah. Have you tried the catfish? Yeah. The catfish egg cart, is it good? Yeah, it's good, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try one for the first time in a minute. For yeah. 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 Okay. My name is Kevin, by the way. Good to meet you. Cash. Cash. Cash yeah. Have a great day. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Yeah. Thank you, Kevin. So we're going to be trying this one. And before we even go down, I'm just going to walk around the block. It's going to be 10 minutes before it's ready. So we're going to just show you a little bit of, um, of this neighborhood before we do. So Makayao is the business that we're going to go to. Um, this one right here, I was talking to another um, shop owner and he said that they're going to build a mall right here. I, I don't know what they mean by mall because the context of mall sounds very out of place. But I assume it's going to match the community in some way. So that would be very interesting to see what that's like. And now we're going to come over to, um, we're in these little uh, mercadores, it's like street of the markets. Market Lane, dresses is a lane. Park Coffee, Harley Davidson. So this is this little type of village area and you can see some casinos like this one down here. There's up here Galaxy Casino. Those are lit up at nighttime. There's a little hill over here. Um, type of, type of, uh, not, it's not type of, it's um, small hill. It's not the, there's type of, Pequeño and type of Grande, these little hills in here. 
but it's neither one of those. Huh. I think they also had some alleys in... Okay, we got this one right here. Mexi Express. Mexi, Ex Mexi Express? Wow, okay. Closed, definitely. Mexi Express. I think they're gonna do a new shop here. Uh, we'll find out. But Mexi Express, they had another one that was, um, it was in the Taipa area. They had this little Taipa, there's a little side street right there. And this right here is Old Taipa Tavern. So basically this one is where the expat community goes out, goes to late at night. Got a little bit of everybody here, Portuguese, Macanese, um, Anglo, Western American people, uh, all kinds. Got some artwork in here. And so that's kind of the context where we are. We could definitely just kind of film aimlessly around here. But, um, but I just want to just go back to that place, get our catfish egg tart, see what it tastes like. I'll try to describe it for you. And this is the main street right here, which is uh, Hude Regidores. And then here's uh, this plaza is called Kamoish. Okay, so we're going to head back down and we're going to try to... Um, that gives you a little context. Uh, the casinos are right over that way. So we're going to go back in and we're going to get our, um, our, egg our egg tart. Our uh, codfish egg tart. Huh. There's like consistently new things here all the time. Silver mine bake was is new. That was something totally different. Um, that that's another thing I should mention in this area too. So that Makayao is uh, pretty interesting in itself. But there's we lost a lot of businesses during COVID, and then we also have a lot that are coming in now post COVID. Hi. Hello, how are you? Hello. New shop. New shop uh, from July. Yeah. From July. Yeah, it's really new. I'm gonna come by. I'll come by later. Thank you. Bye. And this one right here, there's a German shop that was here. It closed because of COVID. I think it was because of COVID. Just um, had a. But anyways, we're gonna check out our other new one. It's all kinds of cool stuff. Mr. K, I think this came about four or five years ago. I remember when this opened as well. It's okay. Oh, this one just closed. So this shop, um, there was a shop that was right here and they had a little thing on the wall where you could put your drinks. Okay, anyways. We're just kind of, so we're basically in this type of village area. Um, I guess the other theme of this is there's just a lot of new places. This is brand new as well. This wasn't here before. This is a, looks like a sushi restaurant. And then we're gonna head back. Oh, Lotus Cocktails. This was um, uh, a guy named Sergio. He is opening this one up. Hey, how's it going? This is uh, the new shop for uh, Sergio and Manuel. And yeah, yeah, this is the one. I'm gonna come back here. When's it gonna open? Oh, uh, we're looking at 16th. 16th uh, of October. October. Yes. I'm uh, gonna come back. Not, not yet confirmed, but we'll let you know. Okay. We'll put it up on our page once we're 100% done. Once we are, we'll let you know. Sounds great. Sounds perfect. Thank you. Take care. Lotus day. cocktails. Yeah, actually, he was. I was talking to the guy that who's this. Um, so he's gonna have a first floor and a second floor. He had a little spot over by. Um, uh, Nam, what's the name of it? Uh, it's not that important, but... And we're gonna see if these are ready now, so... Let's see. Five more minutes? I think I'll, I'll come back in a little bit. Visited Gloria. 
There's actually all kinds of little stuff everywhere in here. So we're gonna wait a few more minutes. So I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna take a picture of this over here in a second. But we're also just showing you all these other new shops everywhere too. Another Japanese one. This one was built over COVID. All that those giant windows right there, and also this Believe one was as well. Cabana Better Day. And then that was the one with all the tall windows everywhere. Okay. Mama Cha. I think this one is a coffee shop that you could actually go up, up to the rooftop up there, um, which is actually close. Hey Miguel, how's it going? Not too bad. So we kind of got all kinds of little stuff back in here. Um, so yeah, we're going to head back to Makayao and then we're going to see um, if they got that ready for us. Is that, is that it being prepared right now? Yeah, getting ready. Yeah. Nice. Today we, we are running a little bit late because yesterday we were on um, day off. Yeah. And we took the morning to deep clean everything. Nice. Yeah. Because normally around 11.30, 12, we have full, full display of uh, our coffee snacks. That sounds real good. So this is the codfish right here. Yeah. So when you see everything is handmade. Yeah. When did it open? When did you open? One month and something. Yeah. How's the? Uh, A little over one month. Who's who are the the biggest customers so far? The first week, because we didn't advertise anything, and we, we are only now starting to advertise. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. But the golden week was quite good. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll come back in a few minutes. So I'm going to be trying that in a little bit. Makayao. Kitchen, right? So we try all the times to be as tidy as possible. Yeah, actually, it's a good strategy. If it's open kitchen, then it's everybody can yeah, see. Yeah, you can see everything. Right? Yeah. How's the Portuguese community? How do they react to the bacalhau uh, catfish? Quite good, actually. Quite good, yeah. Because I, I was asking a few, and they just they couldn't imagine what it would taste like. So I was, but I, I don't think they have it in Portugal, right? Yeah. Hola. 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 Actually, it was received quite good. I was surprised. Yeah. Because sometimes they can be very critical, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, even within the mechanics, was very good result. Yeah, it seems really interesting. To me, it's really interesting, but I'm not Portuguese, so to me, it's it's amazing the the mix. Yeah, first, first they they they, they like the name. Yeah, they think it's funny <laughs> because that's the way. That's the way Macanese and local Chinese say, say Bacayao. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's in Macayao. Yeah. So Makayao, so that's actually, so he was making that reference to Makayao and Makayao. Oh. 
trust me. I just noticed that right there as well. These ones and this one as well. Hey, Kurt. We got the codfish sandwich, french fries, and we're gonna open it. And the juice, the uh, cream soda. Did I get that for you? Oh, oh okay. Ice. Sounds perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's see. So I think we're gonna try this one first. Let the camera look closer here. That tastes really good. I'm gonna get this going too. There we go. Enjoy, and I'll come back later. This tastes really good. It's really, really good. Let's head on out. So that was uh, Maka, yeah. That was really, really amazing. Really interesting guy. So we're gonna be concluding this one and we're in our alleys. We're just gonna show you real quick. Um, for reference, there's Joker's Barbershop, Mercadori Street right there. And we're basically on the corner of Mercadori's and Gervasa dos Mercadori's in Taipa Village. And uh, the food was great. And um, yeah, Chris was a really interesting guy. Got to talk to him for a while, off camera. 
and we got lots of interesting stuff happening around here so um so yeah if you don't know what type of village you got to come down you got to definitely get there because he's a he's a, a very good chef and he's um he just opened up that business and he's um working there himself as a chef and then in the future he'll train some um we get a quota for some um to bring in some chefs to, to uh, continue to keep the business going but you know he's the founder of it so if you can get there right away um, I'm sure it'll still continue to be good because he, he lives in Macau and uh, and that's be his uh, business in place but that was some really good food okay so we're gonna end there and um, and that's it walking around in Lots of other places too. There's like a Argentina restaurant up there. Harley Davidson has a bar right there. There's also a Thai restaurant called Tacos. Uh, sorry, Mexican and Portuguese. And there's a Thai restaurant here. And there's also a Pedesquera, which is a Portuguese one there. So there's all kinds of businesses in here for all kinds of taste. And uh, Macaya was uh, definitely one that I'm gonna be coming back to again and again and talking about, because that was really good, really good food. Thanks, Chris, for uh, for bringing uh, Macau to Macau. Hey, check it out, Macau, 2023. Check out some more streets.